This video is brought to you by, oh, who the heck am I kidding? I'm not cool enough for that. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Visit Joan, and welcome to this build featuring The Sims 4 Machino, Mosquito, Machino, Machado, Machi I, I don't even know how to say it. I, I honestly didn't even know that this was a thing until it appeared in The Sims, so I don't even know what this build is going to be. I am recording this voiceover ahead of time because, well, we'll get to that in a bit. And boy, has this pack made a comeback, because when it was announced, everyone was just like, wait, wh wh why? Why? We, we don't care about this stuff. And that was just, like, myself included. Like, okay, like, okay, high fashion, I honestly find to be pretty darn ugly, okay? Like, completely just, like, no. And you know what? Like, I've said before, even fashion styles that are, like, nowadays are just, like, I don't even like them. Like, I can't even, like, walk in a store and find something I want to wear, because I just don't like any of the fashions that are in now. I would rather see my wardrobe go back to um, the mid to late 2000s when I actually had stuff that I liked and I wanted to wear and I was excited to go shopping, but I outgrew all of that, so I don't have any of that anymore. And high fashion is just extremely, like, the ridiculous end of that, and so, you know, I wasn't too excited about this pack, because I'm just like, when I heard back in April that they were going to have an expansion pack, a stuff pack, and a game pack, I was like, yay, more stuff! And then I heard what the packs were, and I'm just like, really that, that's like one out of three i mean don't get me wrong i'm just not really into magic and witches i never play with them in the sims 2 it's just not my thing but you know we'll see what happens down the road as for what machino or however you pronounce it is concerned you know i did i'm like okay what wh what do they sell so i went on their website and that was some of the ugliest stuff i have ever seen like oh my goodness but they, they actually had a real-life Machino and The Sims collection. And I'm, like, looking at this collection, and the first thing I noticed is that it's not even obviously The Sims. It's, like, really pixelated jeans. And the second thing I noticed is, and what really made me completely lose it, was the price. A pair of these pixelated jeans that looked like they came straight out of my childhood version of Mixed Up Mother Goose on the Amiga computer cost, like, $400. Over $400. And I'm like, no, this is ridiculous. I can find jeans that are 10 times better looking than this at Kohl's for a fraction of a fraction of that price. Like, come on. But I guess that's the price of high fashion. You know, I mean, even her universe can be expensive at times. Like, I've seen a lot of stuff. I'm like, oh, cool. You know, I'd like to buy that. And then I look at the price and I'm like, nope. I mean, I'm not paying 80 bucks for a Sabine Wren jacket, no matter how cool it is, but... So I wasn't really all that thrilled about this pack going into it, and then I saw the trailer, and, you know, I saw some of the buy items, and I'm like, you know what, I kind of like these buy items, I'm gonna give this pack a chance. And, you know, people were just going around saying, like, the, like, the initial reaction was just like, oh my goodness, this is worse than my first pet stuff, and, you know, I think, I don't think that my first pet stuff was as bad as everyone says it is, it was more so the way it was done, but if you want my opinion on that, there's another video I have done. But anyway, you guys, I decided, you know what, I am going to give this pack a chance. And I'm kind of glad I did, because I went on the live stream, and you know what? But, you know, because of the release of Trouble in Paradise, link to the site that it's on is on the description below under um, That Faithful Night. But because of that release, I had already had some videos done, and I was like ahead of week, so I decided, you know what, I'm just going to get ahead. And I pushed ahead, and so I have all of the videos for the entire month of August done and ready to go. And I'm really glad I did that, because, you know, I got bigger projects planned. And part of that is, is like, I was going to do with the new photo update, I was going to take, like, family photos and put them in the houses so that it actually looks like their house when I, you know, do the videos. So I actually, you know, started that this morning, and I started with the Dreamer family, which... Now that I think about it, it was probably a really bad idea because of how depressing these pictures actually are. And, you know, with the backstory and everything, you guys know what I mean. But I'm just, like, doing this, like, wait, why Why did I choose to do the Dreamers first? But anyway, I'm, like, working my butt off on this while I'm watching this live stream. And they just go over, like, the new fashion photo stuff and how you can, like, actually properly, like, pose sims. And you could take, like, family photos, like, you know, just generic family photos holding a toddler... And they have these, like, little, like, whatchamacallit markers where you can pose your sim so we don't have to worry about saying go here and then they're facing the wrong way and looking at, like, you know, go here. No, I don't have to worry about any of that. And I'm like, dang it, you, you know, now I need to wait until Tuesday to get this project done because of all these new features and stuff like that. 
So, um, I mean, as soon as I saw that really cool sofa and the swatch that was my favorite color, I knew that that alone was worth the $10. But this whole revamp photo thing, I, I need that. I seriously, like, need that. And you know what? I probably will still have to use, like, Pose Player. Yes, it's come to the time where I have to download Pose Player now. But since it just, the, um, game just updated, I don't even know if it's working. I'm gonna have to look into that tonight. But honestly, that, but the combination of Pose Player, Poses, Teleports, Any Sim Here, wh whatever it's called, I don't even know. Those are the only mods that I use, and I don't even use those when I'm playing. That's solely when I work on projects. So, like, when I work on projects, I put them in my mods folder, and then when I just want to play the game or I just want to build, I take them out so it doesn't completely, like, destroy the game. But, um, wait, what was I talking about now? Oh, yeah, the photos! So now this photo project has pretty much been pushed off to, um, well, Tuesday. And so I'm thinking, okay, what in the world am I going to do until Tuesday? And I actually do have, like, a couple of things, like, to do, like, mini machinimas that I can work on and stuff like that. And I can also find poses and get Pose Player downloaded and, you know, create the sims that I'm going to need to use in the photos. So it's not, like, a complete and total loss, but it was just, like, dang it. It was just ridiculous and actually kind of funny. Especially when Mortimer Goth showed up to a fashion shoot, I was like laughing so hard because he is like the last person who would come to like a fashion shoot. But you know, he showed up and then they started putting him in the like Moschino, Moschino, I don't even know, you know, you know what, you know what, I'm not even gonna say that anymore. But um, they started putting him in that stuff and I'm just like, oh my goodness, my eyes, what am I looking at? I, I need to bleach my eyes now. And they put him in like the plum bob earrings and I'm just like, dear God, help me. Like, the way I see Mortimer, and I've seen this since I started playing The Sims, is because, you know, he has the mustache, he's constantly wearing suits, and so he pretty much is, like, a refined person, and he would totally not go anywhere in public or even just wear any of that tacky stuff that comes in this pack. So it's just like, oh my goodness, what am I looking at? This is horrible. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna need to bleach my eyes later today, but anyway, you guys... I think now would be a pretty good time to update you on um, the fire salvage operation. You know, if you did not know, my good friend's childhood home burned, pretty much burned down. And, you know, her mom and her two dogs were able to get out safely. But, um, yeah, but they were pretty much saying it was like a total loss. And she actually did go there and went through everything and, you know, try and see what they could salvage. And the good news is they did find a few things that they could salvage. And she actually did a blog post on this. If you're interested, I will leave the link in the description down below, as well as the link to um, the GoFundMe site if you're interested. If you want to support a fellow simmer and you can, and, you know, that would be great. But I completely understand if you can't because, you know, not everyone has, like, money coming out of their ears. And, you know, I get that. In fact, you know, my mom you know, gave her some money, and then I had actually had to go to the bank and withdraw some money from my account because they were, like, taking money out of my account, so, like, withdrew $50. And for a second, I'm like, oh, yeah, I can use this for more sim stuff. And then I realized, you know, I have a roof over my head. I have several pairs of shoes to put on my feet and several pieces of clothing I can wear. But right now, my friend's mom doesn't really have any of that. So I put the money in the envelope and sent it off. And actually, you know, some more good news is that they, um, put out the call for, um, volunteers to help, and they actually, um, had, like, like, a church group come over, it was people they had, they didn't even know and had never met and that were willing to help, and it's just, like, it's just time like these when your faith is just completely restored in humanity, you know, there are good people out there, and, you know, I would go and help, but considering that this is about 1,700 miles from where I live, and it's a small town in northern Montana, I think it's northern Montana, it's not really an easy place to get to, but fortunately for me, the most convenient way for me to get there is by train, because there's like a whole train route that goes from downtown Chicago to Seattle, and it goes right through that town. However, that would take about two days for me to get there, and I'd arrive at like 11 o'clock at night local time, and, and it would be, you know, last minute, so I wouldn't be able to get a sleeper car, and you know, my parents get, like, the cheapest cell service possible, so the last time I was actually in Montana, I did, my cell phone didn't work at all. I mean, it claimed it had service, but it would not, like, send and receive calls, so we had to, like, basically rely on, like, the hotel phone and Wi-Fi, and so all of that combined is just, it's just pretty much one big hassle after another, and I know, guys, I know, it sounds kind of selfish, 
But when you look at it in the, basically, the big picture, you know, it's not easy to travel that long of a distance, you know? I've done it before. And especially when you're considering a place that's, like, really remote and out of the way, even if there is a train that goes directly through that town, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a really hard to get to place. And you have to jump through, like, several hoops in order to get there. And so it's just like, see, now you know why there's a whole business in, like, logistics. Because, you know, you have to figure out how you're going to get everything to, like, even the most, like, remote areas. And, you know, it's just stuff like that. But anyway, you guys... We are nearing the 12 minute mark of this video, and I don't even know how long this build's gonna be. I don't even know what it is gonna be. So, I'm gonna wrap it up here for right now, and I guess I will probably see you in a little bit. Hi guys, I'm back. Today is Monday, August 12th, and we've probably got like a little under 24 hours to go. Actually, I don't even know what, what time I'm gonna get my hands on this thing, because I've actually never done a stuff pack release before, so I don't know what time it's gonna be available. So, I mean, I may have all day tomorrow. I may only have the evening. I am not sure. So, I just wanted to get some work done today. But my body has completely decided to not cooperate with me. I'm constantly hungry. I'm constantly tired. It's just, oh my goodness. Will you please stop? But anyway, game changer footage started going up. And, oh my goodness. Can, can, we, can we talk about that for a minute? Because it's like... Game Changers already get, like, a huge advantage, which they don't even need, honestly. We're the ones that need that advantage, okay? We're just struggling to keep up, and we just have to wait, like, I don't even know how long. It's just ridiculous, but I'm not going to complain about that now. But anyway, you guys, I decided to kind of go with maybe, like, a tiny home, because I didn't really want this to be too long, and I know this voiceover has been kind of on the longer side, but if need to, I can cut the speed in half so that it'll fit. But um, anyway, I normally don't do tiny homes because I just don't like them because they don't really mesh with how I play. It's like they're only good for like one or two sims. And then when they have kids, it's like, well, w w where do I put this kid? I can't expand. I can't do any of that. So I normally don't do them. But, but like I said, you know, since I'm trying to get this out as quickly as possible and I'm not a game changer, so I don't have like days in advance to prepare for this thing, I need something I can do really, really quick. But anyway, you guys, I'm not anticipating this to be, like, a long build at all, like I just said. So I'm going to kind of wrap it up right here. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate you giving it a like and leaving a comment. And don't forget to consider subscribing. Also, if you want behind-the-scenes info on my stuff and fun facts and just snippets of just my life in general, please follow me on Instagram at VisitJoan. And if you want to know my opinions on Sim stuff or any stuff like that, and you want to know when videos come out, Please follow me on Twitter at Visit Joan Videos. Anyway, I'm going to get up out of here. So, bye, everybody. Mish Winter